fifth grade chapter four review. Explain how estimation helps you put help you to place the decimal point when multiplying three and nine tenths times five and three tenths. So what would we round three and nine tenths to guys? Four. So when we take four times, what would we round five and three tenths to? Five. Five equals twenty. So when we place our decimal in our answer, it should be close to what guys? Close to twenty. Complete the pattern. One times seven and forty-five hundredths. Can we show any looping there for work? No. No. So our answer is simply seven, seven and forty-five hundredths. Ten times seven and forty-five hundredths. Now can we show a loop? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Now since I'm multiplying times the whole number, do I go to the left or do I go to the right? To the right. To the right. I'm in my decimal to the right. So I'm going to go how many loops to the right? One. One loop to the right because I have one zero, right? So my answer for this is okay. times a hundred. We already determined we're looping to the right, correct? So how many times do I loop to the right? Twice. Twice. So one, two, because I have two zeros, so my answer is 745. Okay. Now 1000. I look to the right how many times? Three. three. So one, two, three. And then since I don't have enough slots to go to the decimal, I add in a zero. zero. So my answer is 7,450. Okay. All right. On number three, we're going to have to do just a little bit more work, right? So 10 to the zero power is also what? One. one. So I'm going to put a one over this. And then do I have to show any looping? No. No, because anything times one is itself. So my answer is 376 and two tenths. Okay. Number, or the next one. Uh, 10 to the first power would be what? 10. 10. So do I loop it to the right or the left? To the right. To the right. One time, right? Because there's one zero, so my answer is 3,762. All right. Then 10 to the second power is 100. 100. So I write 100 over that. So how many places am I looping it to the right? Twice. Twice. And then I need to add a zero. So my answer is 37,620. Okay. Then 10 to the third power is what? 1,000. 1, How many places do I loop it to? Three. Three. So one, two, three. So my answer is 376,200. All right. Now, once again, 1 times 191 is 191. Now, we're multiplying times decimal. So which way are we looping, guys? Left. left. To the left. So how many places do I look to the left on this next one? Once. Once. So my answer is? 19 and 110. Okay. Then we're taking 100 times 191. How many times do I loop it? Three, twice. Twice, because I have two places after the decimal. So my answer is? One and Okay. Find the product. So when we see five times 89 hundredths, what are we going to do, guys? We're going to pretend like there's no decimal, and we are going to rewrite it as? 89 times five. 89 times five. So what is five times nine? 45. 45. So I'm going to put a 5 and carry my 4. What is 5 times 8? 
40. 40. 40 plus 4 is 44. Now, this is where we go back to realizing we have decimals. So how many decimals do we have? Two. Two. So I'm going to loop over two places. So my answer is? Four and forty-five And then I rewrite that over to the side because when I see your answer, do I want to see those loops? No. 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 Okay. All right, let's look at number 10 real quick. So they have eight tenths times 40 cents. So I'm going to once again pretend like there's no decimal. decimal. So I'm going to take what? 40 times 8. 40 times 8. Now, do I really even need to put that vertically? No, because because do you guys understand how to work it just like this? Yes, yes because you guys have learned that 4 times 8 is 30. 32, and then I need to add a 0. zero. Now we go back and realize that we have a decimal. So we had one decimal with eight tenths. How many do we have with 40 cents? Two. two. So one plus two is three. three. So I need to loop over three, nine, three times. And then in money, can we have that zero? No. At the end? No. So we cross that off and then we rewrite our answer as what? Three. Uh, three. 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 Because you have to have that dollar sign in there, correct? Draw a diagram to solve. In January, Dawn earns $9.25 allowance. She earns three times as much in February. And during March, she earned $5.75 more than she did in February. How much allowance does Dawn earn in March? Okay, I know it says to draw a diagram, but I would take either way. If the diagram helps you, that's great. If not, just show your multiple steps, okay? So let's go ahead and underline our information. So January, she earns $9.25. And then, uh, well, she earns three times as much in February, okay? So February, three times as much. If during March, she earns $5.25. In 75 cents more than she did in February, how much allowance does John earn in March? Okay, so what's going to be our first step, guys? Uh, nine, $9.25 times three. Okay, $9.25 times three. So, three times five is? 15. 15, so I'm going to 5, carry my 1. 3 times 2 is? 6. six. Oh, plus 1 is? 7. seven. seven. 3 times 9 is? 27. Seven. Now, how many times do I need to move my decimal over? Twice. 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 1, 2. So, now we have $27.75. What am I going to do with that now? Take it five, add five, add five, and add five dollars and seventy-five cents. What's the first thing I do when I add or subtract? Bring down the decimal. Bring down my decimal. Five plus five is ten. Carry my one. One plus seven plus seven is fifteen. Put a five. Carry my one. One plus seven plus five is thirteen. 13, so put a 3, carry my 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, so my answer is $33.50. A river otter eats about 1,500 times its weight in food each day. At the, at the Baytown Zoo, the male otter weighs, weighs 5 pounds. About how much food will the otter at the zoo consume each day? Explain how you found your answer. 7,500 pounds because 1,500 times 5 equals 7,500. Since we took 1,500 and turned it into 15, we got 75 and moved the decimal place over to the left two places. The cost of admission to the Bay Town Zoo is shown below. Use the table to answer the questions. A family of two adults and one child plans to spend the day at the Baytown Zoo. How much does admission for the family cost? Explain how you found your answer. 
$39.75 because we took $15.75 times 2, then we added $8.25 to that answer. Then that gave us our $39.75 as we showed over here in our work. Letter B, describe another way you could solve the problem. We could add $15.75 plus $15.75 plus $8.25 and never need to multiply to get $39.75. Letter C. What if two more tickets for admission are purchased? If the two additional tickets cost $16.50, determine what type of tickets the family purchases. Explain how you can determine the answer without calculating. Two children's tickets. Because we took $16.50 and mentally divided it by two to get $8.25, which is the cost of a child's ticket. 